It is zucchini time. So many of us are growing it. Yes, you can find them in the store. And you know how we leave them on the plants and they get so big? Well, let me tell you, we can use them all. Even if they're a little dinged from animals or not perfect. And you think Gary's running in to have dinner. He's running in to have his wonderful, sweet dessert that he loves made from zucchini. I could use these zucchinis, but I'm going to save those for spiraling. This one had a little wonky top. Just going to cut that off. It's so good. Look how beautiful it is. Actually, I want to taste a little bit. Mmm, sweet. That's what I'll finish it. Now, because I'm using a red jello, I'm going to peel it. If I was making a lime jello, I would go ahead and probably leave the skin if it was fresh out of the garden. But since it's, I want to retain the color of red, I'm just going to take the skin off on this one. Can you imagine giving your kids a dessert that you want them to eat? I mean, this is it's the reason why I love zucchini more than anything. I don't even care if it's a hybrid zucchini. Some of the hybrid squash can be round, just like a bowling ball, or with yellow stripes, and some of them have even had orange stripes. It all gets composted. This is clean. Now we're going to slice this up. If there's any seeds, you can remove it. We don't really see seeds to speak of. Might take a little bit out. There's no real seeds, but if there were seeds, this is still a young squash. Okay, now, this is where the fun begins. You can chop it real fine, or you could grate it if you want. I want to make sure that we can chop this up in a blender. My end is a little hard, but I'm still going to go ahead and use it. With the least amount of milk or whatever you want to use. You want to use almond milk, cashew milk, you want to use yogurt. Um, I prefer plain old milk. I use whole milk only, Gary and I. Let's get this all chopped up. Get this in here. You're going to have to save a little bit for the dog. Let's put a little bit over for the dog because she's waiting in case I forget. could go more. The squash is very sweet. It has a sweet taste when you pick them right from the garden. When you buy them in the store, zucchini doesn't really taste like much. But when you pick them out of your garden, it's amazing how sweet they are. They're really, really sweet. That really might be enough squash. You know what? I think that is enough squash in here. Might save a little bit. I'm making salad tonight. I might chop some fresh squash in. I think I will leave that. Let's put this off to the side and chop it up and put it in my salad. So I think that's enough. Measuring wise, it says about three cups of squash in here. Okay, now this is where it begins. Want to add in a little bit of milk. The least amount of milk, the better. I want you to see how I'm doing it. See how it's slowly chopping? You want to have the least amount. If you need to add in more, then you can add in more. Now you can substitute soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, whatever you want. You can try that instead, if you prefer, instead of milk. Now see how what it looks like? It looks like a malt. See that? That's what you want. You want it to look like a malt. It's beautiful. Look at, look at this. See that? It looks just like a malt. Now we're going to add in the jello. Remember it was for two cups of jello. It was one cup water of hot water, one cup cold water. 
so I used a little bit less. I used three quarters of a cup of boiling water, and then I added in another three cup, three quarters, less than a cup, of cold water, and then just put it in the fridge. This is unbelievable. This is so good, and you never know it's zucchini because zucchini doesn't really. It takes on flavor of whatever you're cooking. Put this, let's put this here. Now, we're just going to pour it. Look at this. And now we're going to put it back in the fridge. This is going to get really hard, like jello. Maybe a little softer because what it is, you've created like a, this is raspberry, a raspberry mousse. Isn't that beautiful? It's going to get harder in the fridge. So we're going to put it back in the fridge. And that's all there is to it. And we'll take it out later. Fresh berries from the garden. Look at that. Now you'll see how it looks like a mousse? Never even know that it's zucchini. Here, Gary. Thank you. I'm going to take some too. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh. It was so good. So, so good. Mm. So try it. You'll never know. The kids will never know. And this was made with fresh zucchini from the garden. Zucchini is one of my favorite. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. Kitty's like, I must be getting something. <laughs>